you'll soon see. It's mostly a dialogue, heavy philosophical game, not a lot of action or any or movement, but a game that I think would suit ASMR well. I actually played this game before it was released uh, at South by Southwest a couple of years ago, and I thought it was a very calming experience. I think I ended up picking it up in the itch.io uh, big bundle this summer. Hundreds and hundreds of games. And I'm excited to finally play it. While at South by Southwest, I actually talked with the director himself, George Bachelor. Um, so I thought that was just a really cool opportunity to see new games in progress and play little snippets of it before it was released. So why don't we get into it then? Herself in a precarious situation. Our vehicle is teetering on the edge of a cliff. Hello. That's all we can say. And there's a does not move from the scene and we just walk through various dialogue choices that we have with oops I accidentally honked I didn't mean to honk uh oh uh, I made the birds fly away I was messing around with my controller I didn't think that the d-pad would cause it to make a selection on the precipice. We're just gonna hear the sounds of the waves hitting below and the music building up in the background. But I'm sorry, I, didn't, I did not mean to, on purpose, to, to choose uh, to honk the horn. I'm sorry, birds. Just a cliff. It's probably not even that steep anyways. Or, or deadly. Definitely not deadly.
kinds of thrills. Almost at the front. <laughs> life isn't helping anything. Might as well enjoy my last moments. Just me and you. Name the car. Sunrise. Think about life. I've got like most of a toothpaste tube. of enlightenment carefully from this one sweet spot. But that'll be enough. Oh, 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 it's tilting. Okay, no, we're fine. The 
this is fine. And then I'll die. Dead and buried at the bottom of the sea. With nothing but a failed life and a wet car to leave behind. Try the radio. Let's change the station. I kind of like this station. Let's take a second to listen to this. Okay, the radio's not helping. I'll just keep that off. Well, let's try the ignition. Oh no, now it's smoking. Smoke signals that could help. Damn it. I thought you were done breaking down, Carlos. I can't afford to wait all night this time. Sun's getting closer and closer to setting. What are we going to do? Just listen to the sound of the waves. Oh, something's shaking. What is that? just thinking we needed a windstorm. Take pity on me, nature. Whoa. It's really picking up. This isn't pity, this is worse. still here. Carlos, why did you choose now to break down? Is it the all off the edge of the cliff thing? Like, is that it? And 
engine failure, a passing breeze. That's it. Everything just done. Over. I I don't know, maybe this is fine. Maybe this is just how it ends. It's it's gonna end at some point. Probably. And the sun setting. Getting to a nice, beautiful sunset. Jesus, look at the size of that thing. Antler Champion of the Woods. You could throw me off this cliff in a heartbeat. That's a no. Unless he's ignoring me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, he looked up. It, uh, it moved. help friend get a, 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 a net or something or, or a magnet a, a giant magnet It's helpful to <gasps> Sorry, I was kidding. I'm 
sorry for being here. It was an accident. in this world, but those who enjoy freely a vast horizon. There is no way you are for real. Right. So can you hear me? sooner than expected. Please to make your acquaintance. The feeling reciprocates. We've met on a significant day, Woodland Boy. Significant how? saying about horizons. There are none happiest in this world but those who enjoy freely a vast horizon. I, I don't think this qualifies for freedom or happiness. Your soul is free to follow the flow of the ocean's tide. Got a funny idea of free, my hoofed friend. You are alive for now. You have an ocean of possibilities before you. It, you, you mean the ocean, the literal ocean? Well, you have both. But the feeling of looking an ocean and the pulse of the tide, the sigh of the breeze, captivating elusive horizon. You have simply been gifted an anchored perspective, fortunate, I would even say. I admire your optimism. But it 
your ambition. The hanging off a cliff situation. Is it a situation with a conclusion? The conclusion is not out of your control. Can I ask you something? Potentially. Fascinating. That is not for me to say or know. Well, are you real? As far as I can tell, perhaps you are a hallucination of mine. Who can say? So you're not, so you're saying none of us could for certain when all that you experience is filtered through the lens of your own perception well it doesn't matter does it you may as well accept your own perception as real because you'll never perceive things any other way So you are saying that reality is in the eye of the beholder. Well, if we're both not real, then neither of us know anyway. So, we're real to each other. Basically, let's just accept this. soothe I am. First, take a moment. Okay. Close
Okay, that did help. Wonderful. You can gain clarity and perspective when you slow your thoughts to a glacial pace. Now, what are you going to do? Just sit here. Sitting and waiting for something to happen to you. You will undoubtedly wait for quite some time. I've got time. You might not have all the time you think. I thought you were making me feel better. At times, a practical approach is most useful. Certainly not always, but perhaps now. Noted and appreciated. Let's try reversing. Oh, it's smoking again. Carlos. Okay, bad idea. That did not sound quite like the correct noise. It was absolutely the incorrect noise. What is the problem? The engine is dead. So you are trapped in that contraption. This contraption has a name. It's Carlos. Apologies, we were not introduced. No, that's fair. I understand. Sorry, dear. Perhaps coasting so close to the coast isn't so wise with a problematic engine such as yours. Perhaps yes. Thanks for the advice. It is the least I can do. Literally. Disregarding your quandary circumstance. How can you remedy it? Usually I just leave it overnight. A night is a long stare death in the eye. Comforting. Perhaps you should explore other avenues of escape. Like what? Have you considered getting out? side of misfortune. You are not a world away. God, I don't know. I'm flipping a coin. A coin. Yes, the sacred coin, the most elegant solution to trivializing life's complex decisions. And so you remove yourself from the situation. When yourself is me, it's the right thing to do. Trust me. In specific instances, perhaps chance is the befitting judge. Right, Dale's I get out. Staying in. Flip the coin. It was tails.
just you and me, dear. Just you and me. And that tree. And this huge, huge cliff. That is huge. solitary in form. No little antlered friends. No. Just you. Just I. Nobody else. Nobody else. Is that not a question that you should be asking yourself? You do sound solitude in these cliffs. Well, that, that's different. How so? Those things sound desperately lonely. The dandelion in the field does not feel lonely for its part of the field, but it's all alone. Alone and lonely are quite different. <gasps> I seek this solitude like the sun seeks the horizon. My infatuation with the forms of the world compels me to it. I guess I came out here for a piece of that too. listening.
yourself beside the sea, while ocean tides lays across the shore. The waves take hold of my soul. of that. As much as you can feel one with the sunshine, you gotta be able to wallow in the rain with someone, right? If you constantly surround yourself with others, your thoughts will become nothing but theirs. And you will never truly know the voice of your own heart. Constantly sure. But don't you need to hear the voice of other people's hearts too? The heart will yearn for kindred souls to share in worldly things. At this time, my heart, the kindred souls are found in the trunks of trees, in the white clouds, in the evening rain. But not all souls are dim. The same you. I'm I'm 
going to stop this video here for now as we discuss the difference of being alone and lonely with Mr. Deer here. And it seems like we've discovered a couple of things of, about ourselves as well. What were we hoping to achieve? How can we learn? But we will be back. There is more to be done. There is more to discuss with Mr. Deer. And can we get out of our situation? I'll see you next time, my friend.